Do you think Fifty Shades of Grey is an encyclopedia of sexual emancipation? It turns out that animals in this sense are no less inventive than humans. With us people everything is more or less clear. Flowers, a romantic dinner or an invitation to a cup of tea. Well, what will happen next you all know perfectly well. Meanwhile, animals have completely different behaviors both during courtship and in sex. A male koala, for example, yells foolishly all night long as courtship. The porcupine urinates on the female before intercourse. The octopus inserts a removable penis into the girlfriend and runs away so as not to be eaten. The mating ritual of praying mantises is also already well known to everyone. During mating, an irritated female tears off the male's head and eats it. And that's just the introduction. But we have picked up the strangest love rituals from the animal world that you don't know about yet. The video is interesting and funny at the same time. So make yourself comfortable and let's get started. Let's start with one interesting bird. The red cap piper stands out not only with its intricate name. To attract a female, the male can jump onto a branch and move along it with a moonwalk back and forth, making up to 80 wing beats per second and accompanying all this with loud singing. When it comes to dancing, even Michael Jackson would envy this bird. No female can resist such dances. After that, everything happens quite typically. Next on the list is the giraffe. This long-necked animal quietly chews leaves for most of its life. However, quiet is only from our point of view, because the main part of giraffe communication is carried out at a sound frequencies that are not perceived by the human ear. So giraffes do not shine with vocal abilities, but they have reached the heights of skill in finding suitable partners. The male giraffe goes around different herds, trying to find a female. When he sees a suitable candidate, he does not begin to make forced jokes, give flowers or ask for a phone number. He immediately gets down to business. He bends his neck and begins to poke the female with his nose into her ass. He does this in order to taste her urine. When a giraffe pokes a female in the rum, she must respond with a jet, which the male catches in his mouth and tastes. During this tasting, the male finds out whether certain chemical compounds are contained in the urine, which indicate the female's readiness for mating. The giraffe, of course, does not understand the scientific aspects of this ritual. He just does what is in his genes. Wandering the savanna, testing urine, looking for a life partner. But compared to the hippo, the giraffe is just a schoolboy. The hippopotamus is the most underestimated representative of the rich African fauna. At first glance, it seems that this is just a fat floating cow, but as the famous internet meme says, no one dares to joke with a small hippo. No one. It is believed that hippos kill more people per year than sharks. On land they are quite clumsy, but in the water they can develop dizzying speed. Oh my god! Male hippos, unlike giraffes, prefer dung. Such an aggressive animal marks its territory a lot, which is not surprising. Hippos do this by leaving giant piles of dung on the banks of the rivers and lakes they swim in. Heaping a heap, the hippopotamus rotates its short tail, scattering feces around. Some males can shoot at a distance of 2 meters. Not only males like to use the built-in manure thrower. When the male walks around his territory, the females are not limited to languid glances. If the female likes the male, then she turns around, lifts her buttocks out of the water and also turns on her tail fan. 
fertilizing the surroundings. Scientists have given this behavior the name submissive defecation. From films and from personal experience, many are familiar with the situation when a violent showdown between a couple develops into a passionate act of love. After which, for some time, harmony reigns again between a man and a woman. In the animal kingdom, this is also practiced most often in groups of chimpanzees bonobos. In the social life of these primates, intimacy plays a crucial role. Bonobo sexual intercourse often becomes a means of conflict resolution and reconciliation after quarrels. There are other features in the sexual relations of these chimpanzees. For example, only bonobos look each other directly in the eyes during intercourse. They are also very fond of kissing. And the females of these primates often mate for profit. Hungry females give themselves to males to feed safely on their food. It is interesting that with such a low, by the standards of people, level of morality, bonobo communities are extremely tolerant of females. Flocks of these chimpanzees are almost always led by the most prolific females. When spring arrives in the Canadian province of Manitoba, gutter snakes crawl out of their earthen burrows, hungry for food and love. They gather in groups that can number tens of thousands of individuals and huddle together in giant writhing balls. These balls form after females release a mating pheromone to indicate their presence. Males from all around smell it and crawl to the cold hoping to have their own reptile offspring. However, the matter is not limited to group love. In the midst of copulating snakes, there are also several males who pretend to be females. Many researchers previously believed that males who emit female pheromones do so in order to deceive other males. First, by pretending to be a female, they can avoid aggression from larger and more dominant rivals. By evading conflict, weaker snakes prolong their own lives and increase their chances of finding a mate after all. There is also a theory that mimicry is used to make competitors waste their precious seed. Deceived males believe that they have successfully passed on their genes to future generations, not realizing how cleverly they were deceived. Now let's move a little under the water. African cichlids never engage in the traditional love act, but prefer exclusively oral. The females of these fish carry their eggs in their mouths. When the female opens her mouth, the male passes the eggs to her. The female bears them in her mouth even some time after the fry hatch. It is probably the only species on earth that reproduces in this manner. Talking about water love and its varieties, it is necessary to mention granians. Granians are such unremarkable fish. In the spring and summer, for several nights, granians come to the sandy beaches of California. The fish coming ashore with the tide have only one goal – to make love. A salty, sandy, wet orgy begins under the moonlight. Females, having ridden on a wave, bury their tails in the sand, so that only their heads stick out. Once in this position, they prepare to spawn. But this will happen only after fertilization. On the next waves, males arrive, gathering in round dances around the females. They throw out milt, a liquid containing semen. Milt flows down the smooth bodies of females to the eggs. Having done their job, the males ride the waves back to the ocean. Females get out of the sand and follow them. After a few hours, the beach is empty. Tourists walking on the sand during the day do not even suspect that quite recently fish passions were in full swing here. One more strange fish can be mentioned – anglerfish. 
This extremely unattractive fish with huge sharp teeth lives in the sea at a depth of more than 300 meters. Males are much smaller than females and spend their entire lives looking for a mate. Once a mate is found, the male clings to the female, allowing their tissues to grow together and unite the circulatory system. After such a fusion, the male becomes constantly dependent on the female for nutrients carried by her blood, while the female becomes a kind of self-fertilizing hermaphrodite who receives love on demand. In fact, the fish are constantly engaged in an act of love, and the male himself is a floating fertilizing organ with a heart. Oh yes, there can be several males for one such female. It's a pretty funny family bond, isn't it? Well friends, the video has come to an end and we hope you enjoyed watching it. We ask only one thing, do not repeat anything seen in the video at home. Well, we do not say goodbye to you, but say see you soon.